What's he been doing? Come on. What Says not? I know you already said it before. If you're stretching like this, sure are you not stretch. stretchy enough? Are you going to rip your gooch or not? Go answer in the comments. Like and subscribe. What's happening, gangsters? Um, time for a bit of s and with Nat Robinson. Big morning ahead. Get up, boy. Sort of sparring yesterday. Heavy. Fucking hell, see. Oh, that one, that. Oh, that's fucking gold for a bit. Put it. Look at this hat. I'm going to cover my face. Not your first father. Look at this hat. Who did that to you? Fucking joy. You know what, gold for a bit. So today we're just tapering, so with all the hard work's been done, all the strength's been built and stuff like that, we don't want to be lifting too too heavy and too like getting too much fatigue in him, especially when he's like coming up to his weight cut and stuff. So we're just like you get up to you build your strength up to here, you now you just kinda of like last few weeks it's just a bit more like tapering it and like getting the dynamic stuff in, so making it like really like sharp and powerful, do you know what I mean? Like speedy. Please. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Like today. those. Then out on there. Drop off, but jump on. All right. Five and five and five. Right, come on. Ready. Good. Yeah, massively. Remember, we couldn't even like bench. Hell. We couldn't even bench forty kilos when we started. Like, yeah, I, like I was we're like, well, we're, I don't know. We're, like, yeah, his his strengths come on massively, and then uh, just just everything. Yeah, he's deadlifting as well. That was that was a. Uh, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Even just like little bits like form and stuff like, do you know what I mean? And everything, just my muscle connection, everything like the whole, the whole bit. Before, no, exactly. So like just starting with the complete beginner in the, in the weights room, you, yeah, you're going to see some good gains regardless. Right. But yeah, yeah Joe's, Joe's done well. It's a bit right. quick. Right. Let's go. Five of these for us. Five, yeah? Yeah. Three, two, one. Chest up. In front, of, in front of the camera, then giving it the most. I ain't, got, I ain't got guns enough yet. I'm a skinny man at the minute. Ready? I hate doing weights. He knows that. Yeah. I hate them, but they've got to be done. But I've also seen massive benefit in it. Like ever since started it, like when you're fighting and stuff, like even with clinch and shit like that, just ragdolling people and sleeping folk. Yeah, he, like it's one of them. I just. I physically feel better, I don't get tired in fights, but I feel a lot stronger. Even though I'm carrying a lot more muscle, I'm not actually tired as such because I'm a lot more conditioned for it, so. Yeah, yeah it's going well. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. 
that's the, that's the end of the game, isn't it? Like lose the like stay the same weight but carry more muscle. Yeah, and just change your body composition. I'm so so good at that one. In fuck, you fell off. <laughs> Come on. In. Ready. Good. Good. Good session. SNC completo. Um, back to bad core now. Uh, got to get a run in. And then train again at 11. Busy, busy morning. Fuck me, barely. Good job hitting clean film. So, it's a change of plan, but we're going to do a bit of sparring, and then I think I'll be hitting some pads with Richard. But, yeah, it should be good there. So training's gone well. He's uh, he's been putting the work in. Definitely been working hard. He's had a bit of a bit of few things going on as well. So we've had a change of opponent last minute for him. Um, we lost uh, the main event for Joe Ryan. We lost Yusuf Suwick. So we've had to bump Magnus Anderson up to the main event now, just because he's the only one in the rankings that's available and can take that fight. So Magnus is now fighting for the world title and Joe has a new opponent, a Spanish guy coming in. Awkward, uh, very good record. He's had over 80 fights, I believe, 70 odd wins. So it's a hard fight for him. So it was a bit of a mental battle for a couple of days, but he's been on it. Um, he's looking good, he's looking sharp. Weight looks all right for a change as well. So uh, yeah, everything's going well. To be honest, the last fight camp was really the same. He's up. When he trains, he trains. He's one of them lads that when he's training, he trains very hard all the time. He never really has a day off anyway. He, um, he's always in the gym, he's always working hard, he's always got his Thai training, his SNC is always on point, his diet's now better, now he's working with Pete, so 
everything's in line. It was it was just an unfortunate situation that last show. He just got caught. He was winning the fight. He just got caught. It can happen to anyone. So when you're fighting that high level as well, fighting the elite guys, it can happen at any moment. So everything's in line. He's looking very good. Um, yeah, he looks sharp, strong, fit. Yeah, not tired by the looks of it. So <laughs> it's a good sign. Yeah, he's looking good. Now! They're done. Boss!